Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, flowers. Come on, let's play Shinny! Yeah! <laughs> right, who am I? A lion! Yeah! Well done. OK, Stephen, do your animal. What do you think he is, Megan? Can you guess what's this? I think he's an elephant. What are you, darling? A dinosaur. A dinosaur! Megan's turn. Oh, what could this be? Stephen, what could this animal be? Um, a bunny. A bunny rabbit? Yes. Oh, you're so clever, the pair of you. Well done. Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's that coming down the stairs? It's Dr. Juno and Samson. Hello there. Dr. Juno. Hello and Samson. Come on, boy. Good boy. Come on. Have a boy. That's the way. Come and say hello to Samson, everyone. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, oh look, he's enjoying that. Oh, is he? <laughs> well, you can tell by his wagging tail. Oh, well, how about we stop the pats and we dress up Claude? Into your basket, Samson. Good boy. He'll get a good view from there where we dress Claude up as a... Can you guess? Elephant! Oh, oh, <laughs> well done. Let's trundle over to the cheers. Jumbo on ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing charades. It's great fun trying to guess what people are thinking. <laughs> I wish I knew what Samson was thinking sometimes. Oh, well, you can always tell when he's hungry. Woof! <laughs> <laughs> you hear him from the other end of Tatty Moon Lane if I'm late with his lunch. And you know, he bangs his paw against the door whenever he wants to go for a walk. When he wants a treat, he'll tilt his head to the side as if to say, Please. <laughs> he's tried that one with me a few times, haven't you? <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I've got a few dog biscuits. Just in case he asks for a treat, this should keep him happy. Well, I'm sure it will. Do you know, we're lucky. Well, we just have to laugh when we're happy. Well, I suppose that's the difference between us and dogs. We can talk. Some of us more than others. Well, at least we both know exactly what we want. Although, when I've got something really important to say, I think it's always best to put it down on paper. Well, that's something worth writing home about. Extra, extra! Elephant spotted on Tatty Moon Lane. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what big ears you've got, Claude. And a lovely big <laughs> trunk. <laughs> oh, I nearly forgot. I got this for you, Doctor, do you know? I thought this wee dog looked like Samson, do you not think? I do. Thank you, Granny Murray. Bye-bye, Samson. Now remember, put it down on paper. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell and singing my song Pedaling my way as the cycle along Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my cycling time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way. Now, do I go down? 
Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Whew. I've arrived. Great. So what's next? Oh, thank you. I need to put on my scrubs. All scrubbed and ready to go. Dr. Juno, a young boy Sean has just been brought in and I think he may have broken his leg. That's a very good diagnosis, Nurse Hendry. Have you seen his x-ray? Not yet, but this videotape helped me find out what happened. It's from security cameras at the shopping centre where he hurt his leg. It shows him trip and fall. Interesting. And the way he fell, I'm pretty certain, has a fracture on his left leg. Very good detective work, Nurse Hendry. Let's go take a closer look. Hello, Sean. Nurse Hendry's seen what happened. I imagine your leg is feeling very sore at the moment. Right, I think it's best if Nurse Hendry takes you to the x-ray department so that we can get a better picture of the damage that's been done, all right? OK, Sean, this won't take too long and it won't hurt a bit. Pop back with the x-rays as soon as they're ready, would you, Nurse Hendry? Will do. Oh, Samson. I wish I had a security video to watch you. Good, isn't it, boys? It's so like him. You certainly are a handsome dog, Samson. <laughs> Dr. Juno will love to have a picture of you. <laughs> well, Nurse Hendry, was your original diagnosis correct? It appears so, Dr. Juno. It's amazing how helpful pictures can be. Without the video and this x-ray, We'll probably still be wondering how to fix a poor boy's leg. His left leg? Yes, it is a fracture to the left leg, all right. Well done, nurse. You did a great job. And as a reward, I'd like to give you this. It's the Order of Samson, awarded for excellent work. It's very prestigious. Thanks. Now, talking about hard work, I better get down to some myself. It's so exciting in the heart. Where the people who are ill get well Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there to be here It's so exciting in the hospital Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors Flashing blue lights right up to the door I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed, yeah To hear the heartbeat beating time Don't worry, I'll always be kind I'll bring a smile and take I'm afraid so. And there's someone in the waiting room. He asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. Oh, right. Sapson! Oh. Dear Dr Juno, Granny Murray suggested that you might like this drawing of Sampson I did today. So I'm here to drop it off. Cheers, Gregory. Oh, how sweet! And you look so happy, Sampson. I know how you feel. What is it, my darling? What do you want? Oh, Samson, you're a trickster. You want a biscuit, don't you? <laughs> 
Come on then, Dr. Juno did say, but it's time for a snack to give you one of these. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> I must go into the waiting room and thank Gregory for such a lovely picture of Samson. Oh, sorry, Dr. Juno, but we've got a bit of an emergency. Can you come to the examination room, please? An emergency? Yes, of course. Lead on. Hello, Bobby. What seems to be the problem? Well, it's Shanaz, Dr. Juno. She's hurt her arm whilst practicing her gymnastics oh. down at the school gym with the Bobettes. Oh. How does she hurt it exactly? Well, that's just it, Dr. Juno. I don't know. I left the room for a couple of seconds and when I got back, she'd hurt her hand. But she won't let anybody touch it. I don't know how she did it. Will you tell me what happened, Shanaz? Oh. Well, I can't help you unless you tell me what you did. I think she's a little bit embarrassed about what she did because I'd asked them to sit quietly while I was gone and they'd had a bit of a lark about. Did your arm still hurt, Shanaz? Oh. Will you tell me how you hurt it? No, I can't help you unless you tell me what you did. This is a secret. Oh, never mind. I won't be a moment. I've been working hard all day helping lots of people get better. But now that we've come to the end of the day, I can't think of how to help Shanaz. If I don't know exactly what caused her injury, how can I help? Oh, where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Samson off at Granny Murray's house. As Samson watched the children dress Claude as an elephant, Granny Murray and I talked about the ways he tells us what he wants without words. At eight o'clock, I arrived at work where, with Nurse Hendry's help and some video and x-ray pictures, I managed to find out that a little boy had broken his leg. At four o'clock, another picture arrived. It was a drawing of Samson. Before I could say thanks to the artist, another patient arrived looking for help. It was Bobby's gymnastic student, Shanaz. She won't tell anyone how she has come to hurt herself. Now remember, put it down on paper. Put it down on paper. <gasps> of course! With Gregory the artist's help, we may be able to find out how Shanaz hurt her hand. Let's hope Gregory's still in the waiting room. It's a race against time. I've gotta do it, I've gotta do it. I've gotta beat the clock before the chime. I've gotta sort it. Before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, it shows me how fast she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm working for I'm gonna do it She's going to do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna start it She's going to start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm gonna beat that Thank you, Gregory. Oh, thank you. Now I know how Shanaz hurt her hand. They were having a wheelbarrow race along the wooden floor. Oh, so that's what they were up to. And if I'm not mistaken, you've got a splinter in your finger. That's why it's so sore, isn't it? Not to worry. Nurse Hendry will put a little gel on your finger to make it nice and numb, won't you? Mm -hmm. Which means you won't feel a thing whilst I take the splinter out. You can look away if you want to. You can look at these little dogs if you like. Don't worry, they won't bite. There you go. All done. And you can have this for being such a brave little girl. I'll stick this on for you. Oh, well done, you. You look really good, won't you? <laughs> I must say, I enjoy looking through my photos with you, Samson. Here's one of you with Dr. Juno, do you see? Oh, you're a good boy. And she'll be home to collect you soon. She will. Dr. Juno, come away in. Samson, <laughs> look like Samson. Hey, good boy. Did you have a nice time with Granny Murray? Oh! Did he 
have fun. He was yes. fabulous. Yes. Oh, look at that wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. It's always best to put it down on paper. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wigging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, baking, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, like hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as an elephant because we were all pretending to be different animals during a game of charades this morning. It's not easy to guess what someone is saying or feeling when they don't use words. Dr Juno called round with Samson. Samson may not be able to speak to us, but he still has lots of ways to tell us how he feels. He shows us he's happy by wagging his tail. He puts up his paw when he wants a treat and sits very still when he's feeling proud, especially when he has his picture drawn by Gregory the artist. Gregory helped Dr Juno discover what someone was feeling today too. Drawing a picture with Shanaz helped her open up and tell Dr Juno how she had hurt her hand. You don't always need words to tell people how you feel. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love to skip in river sea things, go river sea things, go by the sea. I love to skip in river sea things, go river sea things, go that for me. Come on and get on down to the city.